Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Right then, now, on my channel at the moment, the most popular video short is when I was talking about the uh, the arrest and jailing of Sam Melia, which has got over 100,000 views. Um, of course, people don't go to the main full video, which is also on the channel, where I actually detail things. And also, I have attached now in the comments section, pinned there, uh, the judgment. <clears throat> so you can all read it. Now, a lot of people have taken that as a, oh, well, you know, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. The simple truth of the matter is, the whole idea of the video was to highlight the fact that this is an injustice, that that shouldn't be a two-year prison sentence, especially as they're going to go after everybody else that does that, but they genuinely haven't. So, the more I look into this, Sam should not Sam should have got a community order at the most and to pay a fine. Because in reality, he didn't actually do anything. It was the potential that he might, which is just ridiculous. Now, how one go, well, you know, somebody goes and does violence because of a sticker. Um, That's on his head. Well, no, it's not. If you need to go and commit violence on somebody because of the words on a sticker, you're the one who's got the mental health issue, no one else. It's as simple as that. Remember the old adage that you used to say back in my day, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now they give you a two-year suspended or two-year prison sentence. It's ridiculous. Now, before we go any further, some of the stickers that Sam was available, remember that he never actually stuck them, but they were available for to download were anti-Semitic, which aren't acceptable. But the thing is, it's not the fact that that's what it was. Uh, and the fact that, oh, well, he had a picture of Adolf Hitler, therefore, you know, no, it doesn't work like that because I'm going to prove to you again another example of a two-tier justice system which Sam was a victim. Sam was made a vic was made an example of, pure and simple. He shouldn't be in prison. He should be out. But, of course, that's beside the boy. And people can call me whatever they want. Uh, I don't think he should be in prison. I don't think it's acceptable, some of the stickers, but the simple truth of the matter is, they were there for other people to do. He didn't actually do it himself. He didn't actually commit criminal damage. Apart, unlike these three. I'm going to read this from the 23rd of uh, April, 2024. <clears throat> Teenagers who daubed Free Palestine on War Memorial get community orders. That's actually criminal damage. The, some, the thing that Sam, one of the Sam's charges was the um, potential to cause criminal damage, and he's got two years. These three actually did do criminal damage and got community orders. That's what the point of the Sam Melia video is, is the fact that this is a two-tier justice system. So in any case, we'll go through. Three teenagers have been given community orders after desecrating a war memorial. Before we go any further, ex-soldier here, leave the memorials alone, you spineless bunch of twats. Can't, I, I haven't got the time of day for people who do that. You're not being big, you're not being clever, you're just being dickheads. It also shows you why we're having a problem recruiting anyone for the armed forces anymore because that's the respect that they give the country in any case. By daubing it with the words Free Palestine days before Remembrance Sunday. Adim Ahmed Hamad and Amin Tariq, both 18, and a 17-year-old who cannot be named because, well, on is an Alan Stackpile member, but the law still says that you can't be named until you're 18. Why, I don't know. He's 17, he should have been named be given six-month referral orders after admitting criminal damage on the Cenotaph in Rochdale, Greater Manchester. Potential of committing criminal damage uh, and, and in a potential of causing racial problem, you know, inciting racial hatred. Two years in prison if you're white. If you're Alan Stackbar members, yeah. They've been due to face trial on the basis that the offence had been racially aggravated which it probably was but the Crown Prosecution Service surprise surprise discontinued the charge on evidential grounds earlier this month in other words the members of Alan Snack Bar let them go and they're changing the rules just check have a look about how they send sentences down to um, minorities so there is a two tier justice system so let's be honest if Sam had done this and he'd been Alan Snackbar member, he'd have got a community order. That's my point. And I'm going to show you another example on this video of a two-tier justice system to follow on from this. 
The incident, which happened on November the 7th last year, caused dismay in the community and led to police guarding the memorial round the clock. So they should have been charged for that as well, because that's two officers, one of the big community support officers, no doubt. A spokesman of the Royal British Legion said war memorials and graves honour the memory of the armed forces personnel and made the ultimate sacrifice to those who defended freedom, the freedom we enjoy. They deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. Unless, of course, you're a feral. You're a feral Alan Snack Bar member, and then you just do what you want. Or you're a, you're a white gaslighting, virtue signalling, narcissistic knobhead who just joins in with these because you think it's cool. <clears throat> Not a normal case of criminal damage. Hmm. The three have been sentenced to referral orders and told to pay £140 in compensation, £85 court costs, and £26 victim surcharge. Tariq and the youth also pleaded guilty to the theft of spray cans and paintbrushes from B&M bargains in Rochdale. So not only do they offence cause the offence of criminal damage, probably racially aggravated, they also stole all the equipment. But no, it's still community orders, yeah? Not a 2-2 justice system? Are you sure about that now? Hmm? The defendant's parents attended the hearing last November where pleas were entered in a Manchester, Manchester magistrate's court. When the district judge, Joanna Hurst, fixed the trial date, she told the teenagers you pleaded guilty to a very serious offence. Desecration of a cenotaph is not a normal case of criminal damage. War memorials are generally expected to be treated with respect. You might be interested to know that five and a half million Muslims died in the Second World War fighting for freedom. Be under no illusion that the sentence will be serious because serious nature of the desecration of the sentence. Six, six months. Yeah. In a separate case in January, two 17-year-old males were sentenced to 10-month referral orders over damage to war memorial, war memorial reeds in Rochdale. November 6th, see, see the thing here? This is this is George Galloway's neck of the woods now. The pair filmed themselves during the incident and later up the video to social media claiming they become angry after seeing a video online of a man removing a Palestinian flag from the cenotaph. So Alan Snackbar do the fuck what they want. No, no, it's not a two-tier justice system. Gobster, you're talking rubbish. Bacon on mosque offender dies in prison. Okay. A man who placed a placed bacon on the doors of a Bristol mosque was sentenced as died in prison after serving a 12-month prison sentence. He placed a pack of bacon on the doorstep of a mosque and got 12 months in prison. Put a plastic fag up on a war memorial screen, free Palestine all over it, and nick all the stuff. Community orders. Have the intent, potential intent to cause racially aggravated, uh, um, racially aggravated problems and possibility of you maybe causing somebody else to put a sticker on something that might offend somebody two years in prison. So please tell me again. Please tell me again that there's no such thing as a two-tier justice system in this country where the colour of your skin clearly dictates your prison sentence or community orders and where the simple act of sticking a pack of bacon on a doorstep gets you a 12-month prison service where the poor bugger has now died, probably committed suicide. I don't know. I haven't read. I mean, this was back in 2016. Uh, I will try and find out. If I do, it will be pinned in the comments section here. But you tell me how you can sit there and say there is no such thing as a two-tier justice system in this country which clearly favours one race over another. Any case... I'm done with that, so until the next one.